Hello everyone. Today's sermon title, Divided Heart Are Also Seen. Today verses, Hosea chapter 10, verse 1 to 3. All GMPC members, our heart and life attitude influence our faith growth. For example, if we value money in our heart, we will show loving money attitude and focus on increasing our wealth only. We human are too weak to give our whole heart to God. However, the Holy Spirit empower us to do it. Today, I want to share a divided heart with you. Hosea chapter 10, verse 2. Ang kanilang puso ay nahati na yoy mga susumpungan silang salarin kanyang ibabagsak ang kanilang mga tambana kanyang sasamsamin ang kanilang mga haligi. It describes the Israelite life attitude toward God also it tells us the consequence of their attitude. God pointed out that they are Divided heart was the most serious problem. Divided heart implies the ambiguous heart with different inner and outward heart. In short, it means false and deceiving heart. The Israelites had divided heart. They wanted to enjoy secular easy lives while they were serving God. However, God detests us to come before him with a divided heart. Unfortunately, they did not perceive it. God was angry with their faithless heart because God loved truthfulness. We can survive from God's less when we are truthful and honest. God wanted the Israelites to have the whole heart toward him. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Ibigin mo si Yahweh na iyong Diyos ng buong puso, buong kaluluwa, at buong lakas. All James members, the praise with all your heart means to love God even at the risk of our death. When we pray to God, we need the whole heart. James chapter 1, verse 6 to 8. Subalit ang humihingi ay dapat magtiwala sa Diyos at huwa mag-alilangan. Sapagkat ang nag-aalilangan ay parang alon sa dagat na itinataboy na hanging kahisan. Huwa umasa tatanggam ng anumang mula sa Panginoon ang taong Pabago-bago ang isip at di alam kung ano talaga ang nice niya. So, what should we do to serve God with our whole heart? Number one, control your inner greed. All GMPC members, if we fail to control our greed, we will be the king of our lives, though God should be our king. God said that greed caused us to have divided heart. We should live God's center life. Hosea chapter, Hosea chapter 10, verse 1. Ang Israel ay tulad na puong ubas na mayabong at hitik sa bunga ang mga sanga. Habang tumarami ang kanyang bunga, tumarami rin naman ang itinatayo niyang artar. Habang umuulad ang kanyang lupain, lalo niya pinapaganda ang mga haliging sinasamba. All champions members, if we have more, can we eliminate our greed from our heart We the Will the wealthy share their money with others more than the poor? Our greed is all 
limited. The more humans have, the more they want to get. This tendency ruins our lives. For example, China makes the common prosperous policy, policy because the extreme wealth gap in China threatens Chinese Communist Party rule. Communism aims at worse distribution equality. However, the worse inequality in China represents humans' uncontrollable greed. When we fail to control our greed, we attempt to get more and more with all the means. That is how money becomes our idol. Jesus told the parable of the rich poor in Luke chapter 12, 60 to 21, Luke 12, 13 to 15, tell why Jesus mentioned that parable. Sinabi kai Jesus na isa sa mga naroon. Guru, iutos nga po ninyo sa kapatid ko na paghatian namin ang aming mana. Subago siya, sumago siya, sino ang naglagay sa akin bilang hukom o tagapaghati ng mana ninyo? As sinabi niya sa kanilang lahat, mag-ingat kayo sa lahat ng uri na kasakiman sapagkat ang buhay na tao ay wala sa dami ng kanyang kayamanan. Jesus warned that covetousness could destroy the civil relationship. Also, he emphasized that greed caused us to degrade the worth of easy life. Saving a lot of money cannot secure our safety. Only God can protect us and lead our lives to the green pasture. Amy Boba, before we become rich, we should obey God's word first. God wants us to have a whole united heart. When we have a whole heart toward God, we can share what we have with others. Our heart can direct our action. We can find the true freedom and peace in our heart when we remove all the covetousness. Number two, obey God's word. Humans' heart are constantly changing, but God's word is an unchanged truth. Therefore, when God's unchanged word is our life standard, we can live peaceful lives as God's people. Nowadays, many people wonder because they do not know their life direction. Blessed are those who obey God's word because they know their life direction written in the Bible we may feel burdened to obey God's word. However, it is our blessing, Hosea chapter 10, verse 2. Ang kanilang puso ay nahati, na yoy mga susumpungan silang salarin. Kanyang ibabagsak ang kanilang mga tambana, kanyang sasamsamin ang kanilang mga haligi. The phrase, be pound party means that they cause their punishment. The Israelites disobeyed God's word and did idolatry, so God punished them. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 19. Kapag sila'y tinalikuran ninyo ang sumamba kayo sa Diyos Diyosan, na yun, pa'y binabalang ko na kayo na malilipol kayo. We should fully obey God's word. We may fail to live peaceful according to God's word. 
At the moment, Satan make us focus on our failure and give up our effort to obey God's word. Then we should remember, we will fail to obey God's word and sin frequently because we are not perfect. However, we will keep trying to follow his word as we know what sin are. We should not follow the lifestyle of unbelievers. Instead, we should obey God's word and following. Faithful standard, I repeat to tell you about the restriction of the female driver in Saudi Arabia. However, one lady resolved to change it and open a new way for other female driver. We know one person can start a new things and make a great result. Do you think anyone can obey God's word? No human cannot do it. However, God called you and me and empowered us to follow his word. So we are blessed. Number three, serve God as the king of my life. All Jewish members. In Canaan, the Israelites did not need human kings like other Gentile nations. Instead, they should acknowledge God as their king and establish God's kingdom. Hosea chapter 10, verse 3. Nayon namay sasabi nila, wala kami hari, sapagkat hindi kami sumasamba kay Yahweh. Unit, ano nga ba naman ang magagawa ng isang hari para sa amin? The Israelites should proclaim God's kingship over them, but failed to do it. Thus, God had no reason for allowing them to stay in Canaan. Also, God had no more favor to them because they serve human kings, not God. The faithful should depend on God, not humans. We should not be sensitive to others' comment in an healthy way. That's because human cannot be our true king and savior. We do not need to peer other extremely. We, what should we restore Ultimately, as Jesus started his public ministry, he proclaimed, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We should restore God's kingship our, over our life. Daniel's three friend did not worship the golden idol even before the gentile, gentile king, we should proclaim God's kingship in our daily lives. Conclusion. Number one, God said that greed caused us to have a divided heart. Therefore, if we fail to control our greed, we will be the king of our lives, though God should be our king. Number two, humans' hearts are const constantly changing, but God's word is on unchanged truth. Therefore, when God's unchanged word is our life standard, we can live a peaceful lives as God's people. Number three, in Canaan, the Israelites did not need human kings like other Gentile nations. Instead, they should acknowledge 
God as their king and establish God's kingdom. Let's pray. Our almighty God, please help us to remove our inner greed from our heart. Help us to be faithful Christian who obey your word and serve only God as our king. I seek your guidance to live faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.